So a lot of you, of course, I'm pretty sure have to go to stores or you have family members going to stores. Sorry. Hey, come here. Come here. Oh, this is my um, Banjito baby. His name is Banjo, but I call him my Banjito baby. But anyways, so what I was saying, uh, I forgot. This is definitely going to be a blooper. Oh, going to stores. So if you have to go to the store, I would definitely recommend wearing a mask just to cover, um, just to cover your face. Somebody may sneeze and you may not know and walk directly into it. Another thing I would recommend is getting disposable gloves. Okay, so what me and my husband do, we have disposable gloves as well as just regular winter gloves, like the kind you can get at Walmart that are like two for like $1.50 or whatever it is. I'm sure it's higher than that. But what we do is we put the disposable gloves on and then we put the winter gloves on top of that. Um, before we walk into a store so if they do not have wipes to sanitize um, your cart you're protected automatically and these particular winter gloves that we have are only for going to the store or anything like that so as soon as you get back into the car you take those gloves off automatically do not keep those on touch your steering wheel and do all this other stuff Another thing that I do is I keep Lysol and hand sanitizer in my car in the cup holder. I literally have a big bottle of Lysol that's there. So as soon as I get in my car, I don't have to spray everything because when I get out of my car every single time, I spray my steering wheel, I spray my council, I spray um, that center part where all your buttons are, your radio, all of that, the knobs, everything, right? Yeah, Benjito baby. So before I get out the car, I spray all of that so that the next time I get in the car, I know that everything is clean. Um, I feel like I'm going backwards. The disposable gloves that you would wear under your winter gloves. Um, I have a ton of those just because I, I use gloves when I do hair, um, when I clean around the house. If you have a pet, you definitely need disposable gloves. So just keep a few pair of those in the car. Use them for things you normally wouldn't use them for. Like, oh, I am so bad at this. <laughs> Another thing about going to the store is that when you bring your groceries to the car, once your bags are in your back seat, in your trunk, you take your Lysol and you spray the bag, okay? You literally just give a quick mist over your bags. Um, just because somebody could have been rumbling through bags, getting like, I don't know about y'all, but <laughs> when, I was, when I was younger, my mom used to keep the Walmart bags and use them as bathroom garbage bags. Like, you know, the little garbage can you put in the bathroom. She used to use Walmart bags for the garbage bags for the bathroom, which she still does, if I'm not mistaken. But so people touch bags, like, believe it or not, like Menards has good bags. So when I go to Menards, I literally will double bag, triple bag. I love the Menards bags. So I get hella Menards bags because you never know. You just might need a bag. But, um, yeah, so spray the bag with Lysol. And that way, when you get home and take them in the house, you don't have to worry about transferring anything from the store to into the house. So, once you get in the house, now, your bags are sanitized. But what about the food that's inside of the bag? So, once everything is brought in, I wash my hands. And then I open up the bags. Once you start pulling all your stuff out the bags, once again, get you some Lysol. Keep Lysol in the kitchen too. Once you take them out the bags, spray the items. Just really quickly, don't, you don't have to soak them unless you feel like you just came from a dirty store. Then sure, spray away. But other than that, spray your items, let them dry for like five minutes or something like that. And then you can put them away. And then of course, wash your hands again. Try to wash your hands as much as possible. I can't stress that enough. 
especially for somebody like me I have underlying underlying medical conditions so one of them being a respiratory problem I cannot afford to get sick at all so true enough I was going out to stores you know a few weeks ago but nowadays I am not I I do not even want to leave my house just because the exposure is it's too crazy right so I'll step outside you know take him out but that's about it another thing um when you're handling your pets um the CDC says that it's impossible for dogs or pets to carry the disease but you can never be too sure so typically when it comes to pets or dogs you're not supposed to bathe your dog more than once a month unless it's you know unless they're dirty they've been in mud or something like that but it will cause them to have problems with their fur itching things like that but what I have been doing for him I've actually been giving him a bath weekly with this antifungal shampoo that I got from him it's by vet MD which it's antibacterial and antifungal I believe but that just reassures me that if he has any type of bacteria or anything that's living in his fur it will automatically be killed because like I said you you cannot be you you can't be too sure there is there is there is no such thing as being too safe so just keep that in mind I want everybody to stay safe um stay healthy because it's it's millions of people out here dying please use the social distance thing don't don't try to go to parties or go out and you know don't don't do all of that just stay in the house find something to do like i am super duper bored i mean when i am feeling up to par i've been sick lately but um when i am feeling up to it i find something to do so i think i'm going to start making more videos i definitely find myself cooking more because i'm, I'm at home so yeah um i actually made a mask today so that was that was quite fun so i may just start making them and possibly donating them or at least start making them for my family and stuff i think i'm gonna just mail them out to people just because i don't know what else to do if i'm not sleeping i'm just yeah <laughs> But thank you. I will come back and give you guys more videos, especially since I'm at home. So I look forward to making more. Say bye, Benjito. Hey, hey. You're so lazy. You're lazy, baby.